Fine. So my name is uh, Muhammad and I have got uh, more than 11 years of experience, overall experience and uh, around six years of experience into data science and analytics. Okay. And we have around how many people here? 16 people, I believe, 16 participants. Right, so is everyone a fresher or experienced uh, persons as well? So we'll have the discussion both for freshers and as well for experienced people as well. Okay, so the first and the foremost, the most important thing is the resume preparation as and when you submit the resume, right? So resume preparation is the most important thing as part of you know your profile getting shortlisted so normally what people do is people you know they try to get the resumes from is you know from their contacts and try to uh, tweak the resume uh, you know mention the same projects try to tweak the resume and then uh, you know forward the profile across and then when the interview occurs that is when the problem rises they'll not be able to justify the resume they'll not be able to answer the to the questions and they'll goof up so what i would suggest you is you know that is my experience again it's subjective in nature so as you know uh, as far as my experience is concerned what i have noticed it is you have to prepare your resume on your own so just a moment let me see how just give me one minute because I'm using this link for the first time. So resume preparation is the most important thing. I would suggest everyone be it a fresher or an experienced person to please prepare your own resume. Okay. Do not you know, try to tweak someone else's resume. It, you can you know, have those resumes for your reference, but try to prepare your own resume because you will know what exactly, you know, the kind of knowledge that you have and that you'll have to put the same on the resume. Now, what happens is <clears throat> if you prepare your resume, I'll just start writing over here because the marker is not working. So when you prepare your resume, the first thing, the first thing that you will write is, or everyone notices is either you mention the objective or not. That is again a objective thing. It's up to you if you have to mention the objective because it sets some, you know, <clears throat> expectations to the interviewer, like what kind of expectations this uh, applicant is having in terms of his job or in terms of his growth, career growth. That again is a call that you need to take whether you want to include the object to or not. The second thing is your education. Are you, or you can say pro current summary or profile summary in, you know, uh, probably in two, three lines, you can just mention your summary of your profile, what exactly you're doing now along with the experience that you're carrying at all. Then education, what's your education, highest education qualification. If, if, if required, you can also mention the other, you know, the schooling and the plus two, that's, that's not mandatory, but the highest education qualification is, you know, enough. Then comes your uh, experience. Now you'll have to mention the experience in the chronological order. So, <clears throat> The most recent experience has to be listed at the top followed by the next ones. And then as I know, just imagine that you have worked as you're applying for the data science job. Now <clears throat> imagine that you have two years of experience. So you're working in some XYZ company. So this XYZ company uh, is the name of the company then followed by the project name. You should not hide the project details completely and should not disclose the project details completely. So you have to be, you know, smart enough to display your project in a way that it gives an understanding about what exactly this person has done and what exactly this project is all about. Do not disclose everything about the project there and do not hide <coughs> everything as well. So smartly in three, four lines, you mentioned the, uh, you know, what was the, like, what exactly is a problem statement? I would say, what, what was the problem statement? Then followed by approaches or different algorithm approaches in, in, in terms of different algorithms you have tried, then followed by <clears throat> accuracies of those algorithms, accuracies of algorithms, respect to accuracies, followed by the, uh, the final algorithm which you have employed, right? And if at all, if you, have, if you were also passed out of the deployment team, then you also have to mention on which, you know, uh, using which tool have you deployed the model. So these, these are the things that you'll have to mention. The most important thing is the problem statement. The problem statement has to be clear for the you know, interviewer to understand what exactly this project is all about. 
Now the same applies for <clears throat> the freshers. For example, if a person is like two years or five years of experience, so if at all, if a project takes around six months of time, normally projects, you know, in six months of time, your project should be completed. So six to eight months you can consider. So if you are showcasing five years of experience, then you will have to justify your resume with the projects. You cannot just, you know, uh, give or mention just two projects, mention two projects and say that I have five years of data science experience. Right. Okay, you might have, you might be having five years of data science experience, but you know, two years, two projects, then after that, what about the remaining three years? What have you done? What have you been doing? Or before that, if these were the two most recent projects, what about the prior experience? So you'll have to carefully <coughs> prepare your resume with the projects. You'll have to see how, you know, what kind of experience you'll have to mention. And you'll also have to justify the experience. <coughs> and in case, friends, if you have any questions, right, you can feel free to stop me and you can, you know, ask the question. So it all depends upon how you have implemented the project. So the project is, you know, in getting selected, the project is the most important thing. So I was about to get there. Uh, we'll, we'll come there. So I believe this is clear as part of your resume preparation, what has to be employed. Okay. Any questions with respect to resume preparation? See, I'll, I'll tell you one more thing. You prepare your resume, you know, anyways, XLR solutions will be having, we have mentors who will be assisting you with the resume preparation. But what I would suggest you is give a try from your side, prepare your resume because not every person will be, you know, expertise in all the algorithms. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll have some expertise in, you know, my understanding is very good at supervised machine learning. So I'll be specifying supervised machine learning algorithms of uh, supervised machine learning and not all algorithms from unsupervised machine learning. Just imagine that I'm bad at uh, bring the concept of recommendation systems or association rules. And what I will do is I'll refrain myself uh, projecting association rules and recommendation system rather I'll, I'll, you know, specify uh, clustering segmentation, uh, dimensionality reduction techniques like PC, SVD. Along with that, I'll specify uh, just uh, supervised machine learning concepts. So that's how you have to see where you're strong at. If you're strong at, you know, all the algorithms, you know, you can go ahead and mention all the algorithms or else, <coughs> excuse me, whatever you have mentioned in the resume, it is expected that you know every bit of it. That is the expectation. We cannot, uh, you know, just play with our resumes saying that, uh, you know, if you mention deep learning, you know, advanced analytic topics as well, because there is a, a lack of demand in the field of data science. But companies are, you know, they're filtering like anything. So please uh, make your chances bright in getting selected rather than projecting everything. I would suggest you is to, you know, what you can do is you can mention something like strong at one suggestion is like, or good at, good at these algorithms and, um, you know, uh, working knowledge, working knowledge about these algorithms or have possess basic uh, understanding about these algorithms. Fine. So you just, you just have to be clear enough that you have the interview should know like, you know, what is it? What is the <coughs> best at and what basic understanding? What are those algorithms which this guy is having a basic understanding about? So this is the way how you'll have to prepare your resume. Please do not copy and paste your resumes. Prepare and give effort in preparing your resumes. In that way, you will also know like what have what whatever what are those things that you have mentioned in your resume and uh, what are the projects that you have mentioned and how you have to justify and explain those projects.